Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. I'm Ijevin and today we're on episode 44. You're probably thinking, Jevin, why are we on Sky Factory? Are you having amnesia? I am not having amnesia. I will explain more about what's going on with the series and everything once we get into the video. So let's do that now. Okay guys, let's go ahead and explain what's going on. So as of today, Sky Factory 2 will be making its return onto the, not daily rotation, but it will, will be uploaded pretty frequently on the channel. Uh, it will be replacing Crackpack. For some reason, Crackpack just never, never got going. It never appealed to the audiences. It, it was just boring almost. So, and I know that's partially my fault. I could have tried my best to record what was the best for the series, but I just never got into it. And if you know me, you know, one thing is that if I'm not having fun with something, I'm not going to do it. And that was pretty much the gist of that series. Like it just, it was, I don't know what the correct word for it was. Like, I don't know if it was this, you know, the same thing over and over again or what, but I just didn't have fun with it. So, uh, as of today, Sky Factory 2 makes a permanent return and Crack Pack is no longer going to be recorded. Uh, so for those of you who were invested in that series, I do apologize. Um, I know there's going to be some people that are unhappy. You cannot please everybody. So I'm going to just try to please myself. Um, and I know there's going to be some comments. So that's why your channel's dying. If you feel that way, you feel that way. I'm just going to remove your comment anyways. But anyways, I think the first thing that we should do today is do a tour for all the people that are new uh, that are just kind of seeing this world for the first time. So to start off with, uh, this is our main area right here. This is uh, where we do all of our AE, our RF world stuff. We've got all of our auto crafters. So this goes down a couple levels. Um, oh, I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> Take that away. We have all of our AE storage here and we have all of our dense cables and stuff. Then we have um, a quantum link chamber for AE on the bottom down there. Then we have a spawner. The cool thing about the spawner is that it uses cursed earth, but it also has draconic spawners in there too. And one of the neat things is that it's got a killer Joe and the killer Joe is using a sword that has a reaper on it. And um, so if I were to come and look in my AE system, uh, soul, as you can see, we've got a creeper soul, we've got skeleton souls, we've got a mob soul. Now, the only the only problem is, is that we're not getting wither souls, so I'm not sure what we're going to do for that just yet. Um, and then we've got some different farms that, you know, these are all magical crops things uh, that are running. And this is our wither spawner. This thing, when filled, will kill withers instantly. Uh, they basically fall down and get killed at the bottom. So let's go to a couple different dimensions here. Let's start off in the nether. <clears throat> the nether, we had just a small spawner here. This isn't anything super fancy or anything. This is just to get wither souls, um, which I'll probably have to do again because when we move our other spawner, because we're going to basically be doing a complete base revamp. And so to do that, we are going to need to move the big spawner that we have now, except for that it is like thousand times harder to get a wither skeleton soul more than anything else. So uh, to move on, this is kind of where we do all of our dirty work. This is the uh, this is the deep dark and this is underneath of the deep dark. This is like uh, at the very bottom. So we come down here to do rituals and things like that. Uh, then the last millennium is where we sort of have everything stored. I plan on actually leaving the last millennium and moving everything to the overworld very soon. Um, cause I want to have all my auto crafting and stuff there. Cause sometimes this thing glitches out. So it's kind of a obnoxious, but, uh, so lots and lots of plans and I'm, I'm very excited to, to come back to this journey. So let's go back home. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Yeah. All right. So there's one thing I want to start off today with. I've got to get prepped for it then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just got past our dragon uh, world. Barely. Dude, I took so much damage in there. It's weird. Like, as soon as I went in there, I was instantly taking damage. I don't understand what happened. Um, Let's see. I need to grab some steak. So I made this thing called a sundial. 
and the sundial is supposed to be able to control time, but I've never used it before, so I don't know how it works. So we're going to have to test it out to come up here. So first off, does it give out redstone signal? Does not give out redstone signal. Can I power it? Oh my God. Oh, it's loud. Holy mother of God, that thing is loud. Um, sound. Let me grab some of these. Now, uh, you, 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 you. Probably three will work, I think. Let's try three. Now. Okay, it's not making any noise anymore. Oh my god, that's awesome! Dude! Look at that thing. It's shooting out a fire bolt to change the time. Oh, we can so use this thing. Alright, let you do your thing real fast. I gotta go grab some blocks here. Do I have any? Take these. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna steal you. So right now it's nighttime. Uh, and this will not be giving out a redstone signal. The only question is how far should it be? Um, let's try like three or let's try two first. Right. So when powered, it'll change it to daytime. And I know for a fact that morning is at 515. So it's at 5.23 a.m. is when it worked. And that's like super close. That's actually like within like two or three minutes of it being daytime. So let's break that and let it go to nighttime once again really quickly. Just to kind of give it one more test. Okay. And then once it becomes nighttime, we'll, uh, it'll start running full. And we just need to see when it stops compared to when it's daytime. All right, so it's now nighttime. And it should be running. Okay, so 530 is morning. Let's see when it stops and when it's compared to. See the time difference. Two three four so it stopped at 458 that time so it looks like it's got a different stopping point every time so there is about that time there was about um a 30 second difference uh it's actually kind of a long time and if we're running solar power if we decide to switch to solar power that's a lot of time that the machine isn't working um, you know what? Maybe we give it a, uh, a third block. Maybe like right here. Hold on. Put you right there and you right there. So then let's break that and then we'll, we'll try one more time. I don't necessarily need it to be too many. We just need it to be as close as possible. And I'm sure that this will put it very close to there. So awesome, dude. This thing should be illegal. No wonder it's so hard to craft. Okay. So it's uh, now nighttime. We can put our redstone back. And once again, we are just looking for how close it can get to 5.30 a.m. So right now it's midnight. So there's three, four... Uh, that time it stopped really, really close. Fantastic. All right. I really, really like that. And I don't know why this thing is here. I'm going to remove all this. Um, we do have vein miner, right? Hold on. Vein miner C sneak. I guess you can't vein mine the cable. Anyways, that is uh, that is going to work perfect for what I need it for. Um, there we go. Now, let's put all that away. 
So if I decide to go to solar as my... What does it take to craft one of these? A lot of gravel. Um... Lots of different ores. I think the one thing that worries me the most is the aluminum. I really don't have a lot of aluminum. Actually, I've got about 14,000. I've just got two different types. Um, hmm. You know what we can do? You know, we need to find the solar recipe that uses aluminum. I have no idea which one it is. That right there. All right, so that is what we need to fix right there. We need to find the one for the initial mirror. I'm sure, it's around here somewhere. Stupid draconic bows that never worked. Okay, we've got to be getting closer. No. Where in the heck is this thing? I know there's a recipe for it somewhere. Or not. It's gotta auto craft somehow. I guess I guess we just decided not to make it, huh? Come out, come out wherever you are. Dude! <laughs> Where is this thing at? There it is. I looked at all of those, dude. I promise you. This is what I was talking about the other day on Crack Pack. Um, let me clear this one. And then put that up there. Mirror. Allow substitute of impotent components. Yep, there we go. So now that'll give us uh, 14,000. That's still quite a lot of aluminum. Um, I need to find an empty spot real fast. Anyways, I'm thinking what we might do is make aluminum seeds if we need to. Because, I mean, like... What do we have going right now for our seeds? We have... There's some mess-ups here. Hold on, let me go over here. Okay, so these are quartz. Uh, that's Sirtis quartz. I don't know what you are. That's saltpeter. I'm sure we can remove saltpeter and blizz if we need to. Or even wood, for that matter. Uh, and make aluminum seeds. What does it take to make aluminum seeds? Um, you. I don't want 64. Let me craft it. There we go. And yeah, we've got about a jillion pieces of wood, so I don't think it's going to matter. Let that run. Is he going to take it down? Okay, there we go. So it should be able to run now. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. It's not working. So you've got to be in range of it. So if I'm like way over here, is it doing its thing? I don't know if I like that too much or not. <clears throat> it's kind of stupid. It's kind of dumb, to be honest with you, that I've got to be in range for it to work if it's if the base is chunk loaded, which, you know, I don't know if there's a chunk loader here or not, actually. Let me check on that real fast. Ah, I cannot fly with this armor. I'm seriously considering switching armor. Yeah, there's, there is like plenty of chunk loading going on here. I mean, I can even chunk load with this if I wanted to. Yeah, you know what? Here, we're gonna do this. Stupid armor. Oh my god. Hate this armor so much. 
Okay, we'll remove that. There we go. Base is now chunk loaded. Bansy. Now that that's done, let's fix this stupid armor. Do I want any of that? No. Vertical acceleration. Yeah, I want to fix that. Okay. I shall make you work better for me. Still can't control it. Okay, it's a little better. Still moves pretty fast, though. Okay, 150% seems to be... Okay, I can manage 150%. Now, we had issues landing on this platform the other day. I want to change flight speed to 150. That seems to be a little better. Okay, I think the armor is actually manageable now. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. When we come back next episode, <clears throat> didn't plant my seeds. When we come back next episode, we are going to start working on our new base. Well, not a new base, more as a very, very upgraded base, I think is a better word for it. And it's going to be awesome. But I don't want to start it now because we've already done about half or almost the whole video. So uh, like I said, next time we come back, we're going to be kicking some butt, guys. And this thing is still not working. That is annoying. I don't understand it. Yeah, it's not, it's got no power. It only works when the daylight sensor has somebody near it, like a player detector. So that, if we have the, if we use that, that won't work. So, all right. <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, maybe give it a second chance. Other than that, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. This is Ijevin. Peace out.